war activist and Socialist Party organizer. He is a member of the Socialist Party of Central Virginia and works with the Charlottesville Center for Peace and Justice. All right. Comrades, sisters and brothers, fellow workers, happy May Day. It's a real honor to be here standing with you and uh, I want to thank all of you. I want to thank all the hard work and organizers of May Day RVA and I want to spend, send a special thanks to my pal Kenny. He's been working his ass off and he's always been a personal inspiration and motivation uh, in all the work that he does. And uh, you know, Kenny would have been there 125 years ago in Haymarket Square in Chicago fighting for an eight hour work day. Uh, he would have been there when police and capitalist provocateurs set off those bombs that caused the mayhem and gave those same capitalists an excuse to violently suppress the labor movement. Through all that, they got a cover uh, to arrest, injure, and kill. Four people were arrested and eventually executed under legal auspices. That means the, that murder of the Haymarket Martyrs was completely legal. They got through that. They eventually won an eight-hour workday and a 40-hour work week. But we've lost it. We don't have 40 hours for fair pay anymore. People work full-time jobs. They have a second and third job. It means they're working 60, 70, 80 hours a week. That is not fair pay for 40 hours a week. They won it once, we're going to win it back. And we're going to win it because our demand is not just a 40-hour work week. Our demand is worldwide revolution and the abolition of capitalism. That's right. We're going to win because we're not going to rely on the legal system as the method to make change. That's the same so-called legal system that murdered those four people at Haymarket. It's the same legal system that today tells us we can't speak about workers' rights, people power, and class consciousness here in Monroe Park. We're going to win because we can return to grassroots organizing. Start over. Start from the beginning, from radical, militant, union, labor, liberation, anti-war movement. We're going we're gonna to win this because we are going to return to one-on-one -on -one activism, one-on-one -on -one interaction with each other, and uh, we need to turn everybody into activists, turn everyone into organizers. We need to find those folks and give them the chance to go out and learn how to effectively organize, and we're going to win it. We're going to win through solidarity. Last year, I got up here and talked about the interconnectedness of all our movements as one big movement, right? It's been a pretty good year for that. It's been a really great year for that. We have to be careful. We have political and tactical differences. As we go mingling about each other, we have to love one another. We have to come from a place of compassion. That's how we're going to do it, through real solidarity. Yeah! We're going to win because we're going to shut down this fucking empire. We're going to directly confront the war machine. Capitalist wars benefit capitalists. They kill children, women, and men literally poison the earth. They reinforce the state's grip on the people through things like the Patriot Act and the drug war. The drug war is a very real military war. It is a regular old-style military war that uses racism and racist tactics to support capitalism and neoliberal policy in Latin America. We are going to win because we're going to confront this. We're going to win by shutting down the system. We're going to shut down the folks who make the weapons. We're going to shut down the system, the politicians who go out and make the war machine possible. We're going to shut down the same system that killed the Haymarket martyrs. We're going to shut down the system that today wants to keep us from speaking and marching in the streets. We're going to shut down the system that imprisons people of color on a massive scale, that criminalizes dis disability, criminalizes being undocumented, criminalizes being uh, LBGTQ people, criminalizes being a woman. We're going to win because we're going to shut down this system that criminalizes poverty while simultaneously and deliberately maintaining poverty. We're going to win it. So finally, we're, we're going to have compassion. We're going to go back after today. We're going to talk about May Day. We're going to talk about the people we met, the things we learned, the things we did. We're going to be kind to each other. We're going to reproduce and revolt. We're going to push forward. We're not going to push back. We're tired of pushing back. We're going to push forward, right? Together.
we're gonna win all this shit. Let's 